Before we move on and start working with many of the HTML elements, I did want to explain to you what attributes are. Attributes contain extra information about the element. They won't appear in the content. Elements may contain attributes that are used to set various properties of an element. Some attributes are defined globally and can be used on any element, while others are defined for specific elements only. All attributes have a name and a value, and they look like this. As you can see here, I have an anchor tag. Within the start tag, I have a href attribute. Notice that the href attribute is separated by a space from the element name, and it appears within the angle brackets of the starting tag. Immediately following the attribute, we have an equal sign, and then we have the attribute value. Attribute values are always quoted. Here's another example. I have a paragraph with a class attribute. The attribute value is set to special. And then here's another one. This is an image element. The image element actually contains multiple attributes. You can see that I have both a source attribute and an alt attribute. Each of the attributes follows the pattern, the equal sign, followed by the attribute value. Remember that attributes are instructions that clarify or modify an element. They contain extra information about the element that won't appear in the content. Attributes may only be specified within the start tags and must never be used in the end tags. HTML5 attributes are case insensitive and may be written in all uppercase or mixed case, although the most common convention is to stick with lowercase. I recommend that you always use lowercase attributes. An attribute should have a space between it and the element name. For an element with more than one attribute, the attributes should be separated by spaces too. The attribute name is followed by an equal sign. An attribute value is always wrapped with opening and closing quotation marks. As we progress through our course, you will find lots of elements that have a variety of attributes. I did want to point these out to you so you are familiar with them and so that when you see an element that has additional information, you'll be able to identify it as an attribute and attribute value pair.